Hi, I'm Billy Maddox, and I'm going to mess this up so that you don't have to. And here we are with part two. Join me on this like weird uh, long voiceover thing. I'm getting comfy up in here because uh, we need to. Anyway, so here's the second hand painted cover. And we're using this same orange. Um, I really like this cover material that I have. It's really sturdy. Takes paint really well as well. So we're cutting this little stencil. This is just a weird little 45 degree angle, little tabbed situation. I'm using the marks on my cutting board so that everything is square. Um, I'm just gonna mark it off and then cut it off. Now you're gonna see me doing three of these because one, I'm sort of trying stuff out and then the other two, I'm like committing. The other two will be for Ordinary Adventures and Always Believe, just like in the last one. So uh, here we are, cut out this little tab for this sort of stencil that I'm using. Also, uh, a side note, uh, this uh, ruler that I got, that I did a video on, uh, I don't know, a few weeks back, I don't, time is a concept that I have no idea if it's real. Uh, <laughs> um, I don't know when, but the ruler is amazing. The the cutting edge and everything, it's it's my go-to ruler. I really should empty out my drawer of rulers. This is, this is the one. Um, so here is what I'm going to be painting on. Now, if you've noticed, I've got a big old tub of yellow <laughs> there. I don't know why that tub is so... Oh, yeah, I do remember. Anyway, whatever. This, ah, this is going horribly already. I'm mixing a bunch of white with a tiny bit of yellow to give me kind of a cream, like a creme, like a bone kind of color because we're doing a Rebel Pilot-inspired hand-painted notebook cover and painted on a cover of a notebook inspired by rebels, by Star Wars, rebel pilots, notebook. That's the title of the video. <laughs> um, so I'm just, you know, I'm just going at it. This is gonna take a few coats. Um, a couple of things that you'll, you're gonna want to uh, keep in mind. Now here's one thing that you're gonna see right now and it's that you're gonna want to put a piece of paper not only underneath the piece but in between that front cover and the back cover so that you're not getting paint all over your work surface and also not getting paint on the back cover unnecessarily. Um, so I've got a sheet in between here. So I've just, you know, I've done a couple coats. It's gonna take you a couple coats. Go light on each coat the paper, remember this is paper and you're introducing moisture, it's gonna wanna curl on you. Um, but the lighter you go, um, the, the better it'll be. So here I'm removing the stencil. I'm trying to be careful because I'm gonna use this a few more times after this, two more times after this. So here we have this basic little thing. Let's do it a couple more times. So I'm doing a tester one and then I'm committing to these so that one felt a little high I'm gonna keep that one for myself um, and then these two one will be going to ordinary adventures and one will be going to always believe I forget right now which pack exactly each of these go into uh, but yeah here's me doing just another coat um, keep watch on dry down this when it dried down it it went a little darker than I wanted so I added just a bit more white to get me where I wanted to go. And if you'll look at the uh, the cover that's at the top, you see how it's wanting to curl on you? You're gonna wanna keep an eye out on that, put some weight on it, um, counter bend it, do what you can. It's gonna wanna do that, but you know, try to do what you can. So now I'm cutting out a very thin little rectangle stencil and I'm gonna try to position it right where that tab is now I don't know why I made this so difficult for myself but I did um, thinking about it now I probably could this probably could have been all one stencil um, but I didn't think of it uh, so I had to 
again, use the tester one to try to position it in place. Now, what I'm going to do here is sort of, uh, oh, if you haven't seen the the cap that I turned into a quote unquote rebel helmet, uh, rebel pilot helmet, um, I'm doing a similar thing to this where I'm doing the black and yellow sort of caution tape hash marks on it. But first I need to uh, lay down a layer of white. And now with paint markers, I'm going to go back in and I'm, ac I'm, I'm actually going to do the whole thing in yellow uh, because it's easier than to just do the black on top. But the yellow is a bit more of a transparent color, so it's going to take a few more uh, goes, um, a few more coats. Just be careful because paint marker is like a little gummier than using acrylic. So it's going to kind of gum up on you if you're not careful. Um, but that's how, you know, that's how I did these. And these are, this is kind of to, it's a simplified version of like the rebel, f like flight vest thing, the sort of white flight vest on the orange jumpers with these hash marks that appear um, on the helmets. And you're going to see some signage there before. Oh, and in the middle there, you could see an old calendar that I'm using to do some more Star Wars notebooks. But these are the hand painted ones that will go along with those, if that makes any sense. So here I'm doing the black hash marks. I'm just doing a freehand, you know, just going confident, go in there. You know, it's paint, so you can always go over it and fix it if you need to, but, you know, it should be okay. They're just short little hash marks. I'm not sure that they're all straight or anything, but visually, you're not really going to be able to tell. So let's go ahead and pull this. What I don't want is for this sort of goopier, thicker paint marker paint to um, glue down my tape. So I'm taking it off while it's still wet so that there's no pullage um, everywhere. And so here you're getting kind of an idea of what I'm going for, of like the look that I'm going for. These are like rebel notebooks that kind of look like a rebel pilot jumpsuit situation you know oh here i'm just cleaning up a few areas that had like if you if you get a um an exacto knife and just very lightly scrape on you know you can kind of pick up some paint if you've got it in places where you don't want it i'm just sort of making sure it's all square and i don't have any hairy lines by doing this Oh, and you can kind of get a sneak peek at some other stencils that I'm going to do in video three of this thing, of this, like, you know, grand spectacular of hand painting cover goodness. <laughs> you got snacks? I hope you got some snacks. Okay, so, okay, what am I doing here? But you're, you're getting a clue of what I'm going to do next, which is do the rebel emblem. And this is what I was saying where I'm going to do some weathering, but on a notebook. So I'm getting some sort of graphite, sort of gray-ish, gunmetal-ish uh, color. And I'm putting this, this piece of paper down with a rebel symbol. And with a kind of, when it, with a, let's be real, with a shitty brush, kind of tamp down tap 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 on the edges right so that it's really irregular and whatnot and what's going to end up happening is i'm going to get like a weird kind of silhouette look to it and it's almost going to look like uh it's going to look kind of greasy kind of dirty and it'll be the what's left behind is the rebel symbol and clean orange just uh it's it came to me as a flash and I was like, oh, this is such a good idea. And I think I'm going to do this more and more when I do more Star Wars um, hand painted stuff. You'll see that in the next video, too. Uh, but I got this idea. So, yeah, I was actually going to use the stencil. So I cut this out of a piece of paper of which I was then going to fill in. But then I was like, wait, if I get what I cut out and put that down and then do this weird splotchy kind of paint, I can then do this. Check this out. 
let me lift this, this is so satisfying let me lift this here very carefully because I, I use this again at least two other more times lift it carefully and check this out this is what you're left with look how cool this looks i'm so excited for this so yeah that gives it its final little like touch to really make it look like a rebel uniform you know what i mean it's kind of grungy it's got the right colors it's got the markings it's got all of that going so one of each of these is going to each of the households of the Ordinary Adventures House and the Always Believe House. Um, I don't remember exactly which pack I put each of these into, um, so I'm sorry if you didn't get it. If you guys are watching, the only thing that I will say is that I mean, you're gonna have to fight over them. <laughs> fight to the death. Video it. And that's pretty much it. Thanks so much for watching. Roll the thing.